Congratulations! You have just purchased the finest waste oil burner made. The design and quality workmanship that is built into every waste oil eliminator is apparent at a glance. The stainless steel exterior gives the eliminator a lifelong quality appearance. The easy access firebox makes inspection and periodic cleaning a snap. And the heavy gauge steel heating chamber is built to last. Your unit is reliable, easy to clean, maintain, and clean burning. The Eliminator is well built and it performs a valuable service. Your waste oil disposal problems are eliminated. Your Eliminator turns waste oil into fuel in a highly effective EPA approved method. This video will take you through the basic installation process of your Eliminator, basic maintenance and troubleshooting. Please read your manual carefully. It contains important safety information. Retain your manual and this tape for future reference. If replacement parts are required, use only genuine Aladdin Eliminator original equipment parts. Unauthorized parts may damage your equipment and will void the product warranty. With proper care and maintenance, your Aladdin Eliminator will give you years of dependable service. When you receive your Eliminator, Examine the shipping crate carefully for any hidden damage during shipping. Claims for damage or shortage should be filed with the contract carrier. Remove parts and strapping attached to the machine for shipping. The model number, serial number, and specifications are stamped on a plate permanently attached to the back of the control panel. Note this information for future reference. It is recommended that your Aladdin Eliminator be installed by a qualified technician to ensure compliance with state and local codes. The waste oil eliminator is designed specifically for use as stationary unit with a 6 inch class A all fuel chimney with barometric damper installed as close to the unit as possible. The model 60 requires an adapter from 4 inch to 6 inch. A barometric damper must be used for proper drafting. When determining where to install the eliminator, it is important to position the machine for easy access to all controls and a power source. Refer to the machine data plate to determine the exact electrical supply requirements for your machine. Electrical power for the machine must be supplied from a properly grounded mating receptacle and an adequately fused disconnect. Although not recommended, if an extension cord is required, Use only a UL listed 12-3 cord and do not exceed 50 feet in length. Do not attempt to operate this machine on less than 90% of rated system voltage. Overheating, poor performance, or component damage may result. Contact a qualified electrical technician or your power company to determine the proper system voltage. Preferred installation is on a stand at least 12 inches high to keep the unit off the floor and away from dust. These can be purchased from Aladdin Environmental. This will facilitate installation of a magnetic oil pan heater should it be necessary to pump cold or heavy viscosity oil. The key is to find the best location to suit your needs while providing the best possible access to all machine parts for routine maintenance and service requirements. Always maintain a distance of four feet away from any wood surface and six feet from waste oil supplies. Do not locate the burner where fumes, dust, or other flammable materials may be present. Exhaust fan ventilation in a small area could result in incomplete combustion or carbon monoxide production as a result of a vacuum being created in the heat chamber, drawing fumes into the shop. After mounting the unit, mount the thermostat on a wall as far away from the unit as possible. Fill the tank with pre-filtered used oil from the primary storage tank, taking care not to overfill. If any oil is spilled, it must be cleaned and neutralized before lighting. The maximum viscosity oil weight for Model 60 and the maximum for Model 120 is 90. 
Avoid introducing water or heavy gelled oils into the tank because they will plug the intake screen and the unit will not operate. A magnetic oil pan heater installed under the pump screen intake will help facilitate pumping cold or heavy viscosity oil. Check to see that all machine switches are turned off and connect the electrical supply. Stroke the pump several times to prime. Remove the vaporizer pan and pour approximately one to one and a half cups of waste oil into the bottom of the pan. Replace the pan and light the fuel using a small propane torch. Turn on the switch and press the reset button. The fuel pump will start when the heat exchanger reaches its operating temperature of 140 degrees. If necessary, adjust the combustion air blower. Operate the pump with the smallest amount of combustion air possible without allowing the pan to become flooded. Check the air blower after the unit has been operating on high output for 15 minutes or more. Preventative maintenance is the easiest and least expensive way to keep your burner trouble free. Regular inspections of the machine systems and critical components will prevent downtime and prolong the life of your unit. To assist you in properly maintaining your unit, Aladdin has built your eliminator with easy access. The pump mechanism is accessed by removing the control panel screws and tilting the control panel out. The air wand and drip tube are accessed by removing the screws on the top of the unit and removing the lid. The vaporizer pan is accessed by opening the door on the side of the unit. These steps should be performed daily. Remove and clean the vaporizer pan. Check the pump screen for buildup. Fill the supply tank with clean filtered used oil. Check the supply tank for sludge and water buildup. These steps should be performed weekly. Remove the air wand and clean the air holes. Be sure to reinstall properly. Check the bottom of the heat chamber for ash residue buildup. Check the chimney for soot buildup. Clean as needed. Remove and check the stainless steel drip tube for buildup. If you are unable to properly clean the tube, the part should be replaced. These steps should be performed monthly. Check the bushing on the pump rod and replace if worn. Clean the fins on the combustion blower. Once a year, your unit needs the following maintenance. Remove the stainless steel pump cylinder. Check the valve assembly for compression and obstruction in valves. Clean it with solvent or carburetor cleaner using light air pressure to dry. Check the air wand and vaporizer pan and replace it if worn. Clean the interior of the heat chamber. Drain and clean the supply tank of all water and sludge accumulation.